Now then, the last time Eastbourne Borough took the field here at Priory Lane, Donald Trump was still US President and Britain was still in the EU. Well, you win some and you lose some. The last time Maidstone United were here, uh, we had, uh, hadn't even had the first lockdown. It followed a, a few days later after that 3-0 win for the sports. And uh, we've lived off scraps of football ever since. Let's hope for a New Year feast this evening. Eastbourne Borough against Maidstone United. It's a long one for Kendall to chase, but he will do. Balls to Welpdale. Curls the shot with the outside of the foot. Nice effort. Didn't quite curl it enough, and it's gone past the far post. It's all Eastbourne in this first couple of minutes. Joel will chase this one. Gets the shot. And oh, he's knocked it in. Curls it over the keeper. Well, he's pasted it at first and his skill in finishing put the ball into the net via the crossbar and Eastbourne Borough have the lead. Huge long ball. Flicks off Vaughan, picked up with a poss possible shot, blocked. Ball still alive for the Stones. On the outside. Followed up. Oh, and a shot. One bounce and in. Driven into the ground, and then the bounce took it beyond Ravizzoli, and it's 1 1. And Greg Lua needs to show some pace here to keep it in. Just reaches it. Wins the corner, first of the game. In swinging corner. Big. Gone too long. Just fetch back. Well laid off. Oh, and this is a decent break. Quick and open. Burrow racing back to cover. Across it goes. Good save and followed up. And we have a third goal and we're not a quarter of an hour gone yet. Good gracious me. Well, Burrow caught on the break from that corner. Maidstone United racing away through an open midfield. Franco saved the first shot, couldn't save the second. It's Eastbourne Burrow one, Maidstone United two. Faintest of touches. Oh, a slip. Welpdale picks it up, but he can't quite get room for the shot. Followed up, Lua. Outside his man. Finds the keeper with the shot. Good. Well done, Charlie. Kendall. In goes Joel. Finds his man. Kendall it is. The shot's blocked. Still there for a follow-up. Little flick from Welpdale, but it's cleared. And there's a command and composure about the visitors at the moment. They're looking confident. They haven't had a win in six. They think this might be it. Long way to go yet, though. And here's Charlie Kendall looking to get past his man. Gets in. There's no one to play it to. Yes, there is. Oh, yes, there is. Brilliant. Chris Welpdale timed it perfectly. Charlie Kendall's pace took him in past the defence. Low ball across. Welpdale smacks it in. And we're all square again at 2-2. Oh, ouch. Playing on, playing on. Joe Rollinson will reach this. Early ball. Finish. Oh, it's at the post. Still alive. Very just took a bit too long. Now it can go in again. Fancies the back post. There's the effort. Still alive, still.
Another ball into the area. And a very good save in fairness from Charlie Kendall. Up into the final third. A chance of a run. Beyond the back post. Retrieved. Back in the danger area. Burrow need to clear it. And final shot goes wide. There's the corner. Oh. Header downwards, hit a defender and it's cleared. Well, they're lethal at those corners, but they haven't scored from that one. And instead of that, we've got the pace of Greg Lewer away. Who's in the middle? It's cleared. It's gone high and not handsome at all. <laughs> Rollinson, work, good work again. And off to Welpdale by Charlie Kendall. Surrounded and still gets the shot in and Lewington does well to get down to it. Well, that was super work by Welpdale there. Three defenders around him in a little triangle, really, and he still cracked his shot. Not cleared. Oh, you saw what he wanted then, but there were too many players in the way. <laughs> Flick on by Welps. Oh, Maidstone has started well this half. No room for the crosses there. Yes, it is. Oh, and that's a well-taken goal, but it's a goal that Borough should really not have conceded. Decent cross, Scott Rendell on the end of it from just three or four yards, and it's Maidstone who have the lead, 3-2. Oh, that's great work. 70 minutes played 20 for Borough to rescue this game They're just up the pace a little bit now and great raking ball across to Lua one man to beat goes around the outside across it goes hits a purple boot tries again blocked corner definite pressure building for the sports oh and we're on side here ah, clears the bar Here goes Lua, wants to outpace his man, who gets back very well in fairness, but it's a corner. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Amaluzor into the area and screws it wide with his wrong foot. Last minute of added time. Oh, it's given away. Oh, he's tried for goal. <laughs> and it wasn't a bad try either. Added time now on to added time. What are you waiting for, Reds? Last action of the evening here at Priory Lane. It's cleared. It needs to be popped in. That's the one. Oh, headed away off the line pretty well. Oh, and they've got in each other's way. And Jack Packman says he's seen enough for the night. Well, it finished with Borough on the attack and a ball off the line, but in truth, Maidstone United were just that little bit too strong, a little bit too experienced perhaps. They scored their winning goal on 47 minutes and then they saw the game out strongly. Borough had very few chances in the second half. It was a cracking start, of course, for the Borough. Four minutes, they were in the lead through Joel Rollinson and uh, it was level on the half hour and there were a lot of good things but Borough perhaps a tiny bit ring rusty after not having played since before Christmas and they will regroup and regather no doubt Maidstone United it is who take the points by three goals to two. Well Ben Austin Borough coach a terrific start yeah. but then it went wrong after that. Yeah, it was almost it was almost the opposite of what we was kind of expecting to happen. I mean, obviously, it's been a fairly lengthy layoff. Um, 
you know, I think best part of four weeks for, for some of the lads and we, and we kind of anticipated that it might take us sort of 15, 20 minutes to get into the game but mm -hmm. actually we started really, really well. Uh, you know, we looked sharp, we passed the ball well um, and we were causing them problems. Then obviously we got a goal, as, you know, I, thought, I felt at that point in the game was just rewards for, for the start that we made but um, yeah, it went, it went downhill fairly quickly. You <laughs> must have been cross with the two goals that they scored. Yeah, yeah. I think actually all of them. Um, mm. You know, yeah. I think we've, we've prided ourselves this year on being more solid and being harder to beat um, and it is difficult to strike a balance we've just been talking in there it's very difficult to strike a balance between scoring goals and, and not conceding them mm -hmm. um, but we felt we've we've kind of managed that reasonably well this season uh, but all three goals to, tonight were really disappointing from a defensive point of view um, yeah. so yeah yeah, and Maidstone United are the sort of side, a lot of experience out there in the purple shirts. Yeah. Um, and they were able to close it up. Yeah, we, I mean, we knew what to expect. Again, you know, we, we do our homework on all of the teams that we play and we know with Maidstone there that there's nothing particularly spectacular about what they do. Um, you know, that there's nothing particularly innovative. They're not a particularly great footballing side in, in the truest uh, form of the word, but we know that they're effective in what they do. They're, they're quick going forward, they're powerful going forward and, and what we saw from them tonight is pretty much exactly what we expected. We just feel that we didn't defend well enough in the key moments in the game and uh, I think that's what's done for us really. There's a 10 day break now. Um, is that a good thing or no. I'm thinking not? No, <laughs> No. I mean, I, one of the key things we, we've spoken about a lot is momentum. You know, mm -hmm. we, we managed to gain some momentum this season. We felt we started well. And we've managed to carry that momentum through with the results and with the performances. And then obviously this, this break that we've had, this lengthy break, which is, you know, it's, there's nothing anybody can do about it. It is what it is. And every side's gone through it. Um, you know, it's, it's not helping really as footballers. You want to be playing. You know, you want, if, you, if you win, you want the next game quickly so you can keep that momentum going. If you lose, you want the next game quickly so that you can, you know, get back to winning ways. And, and unfortunately, like you say, we've got a 10 day break now after a pretty much four week layoff. So yeah, it's far from ideal. So uh, the, the season is a bit like that really stop start and yeah. you've just got to take what the season throws at you. Absolutely. I mean, I think we, we spoke about it before the game. I mean, I think expectation, if you look at a Maystone United, they're expected to win every game. You know, they've come down from the league above, they're, they're throwing everything at it. They're expected to win every game. I think probably we could still argue that we're a bit ahead of where people maybe expected us to be. Um, so, you know, we, we spoke to the lads about there's not a huge amount of pressure on us. Uh, you know, it's OK to lose games of football, especially to teams that are training full time. Um, but yeah, we, we, we desperately want to get back to winning ways, obviously, now. And it's unfortunate that we've got a, a 10 day wait before we can attempt to do that. So time for the coach to get back on the training ground. Okay? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks very, very much, much indeed, Ben. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.